If I'm playing pickleball with you as your partner and a lob goes over your head, who should get that? Well, most of the time it should be me. Much harder for you to back up, to even know where the ball is going, where you should move to get it. But I think it's a really hard thing because on the pickleball court, some people are faster than other people. Some people know more strategy and rules than other people. And so it becomes a bit of a conflict and a little bit confusing on the court. I have a friend that I play with frequently and I'm going back to get the overhead lob and she's going back and we're like crashing into each other. And for the second time, she said to me, you know what, I'm so sorry. It is, it is your ball to go and get. I just keep forgetting because a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, it's a challenge. So technically, if you and I are playing together, bring it on and the lob goes over your head, that should be my ball to go and get. But there are a lot of things in play on the pickleball court and it becomes really confusing and sometimes frustrating to not know what other people are gonna do. So I've talked about this before, but this is a really good opportunity when you play with someone to communicate with them. Just simple things. So on the overhead, who gets it, right? Um, there are other simple things that you could communicate. If you're struggling, how can I help support you? Ask a couple of questions before you start playing. It doesn't hurt. Sometimes people don't know or they don't want to say, and that's completely fine, but at least you've done your due diligence and you've asked, right? So next time you go to play social pickleball, check in with someone on the lob. How do you want to work that? Who's going to get it? And see what happens. I think it's going to eliminate some frustration and some confusion.